local YouTuber, Turbo John, right here near Lane. Good looking Cuda Far Lane. Open testing, open testing. You probably couldn't see it because of the wall. He had to lift about 3.30. Problems in the other lane, not making a trip. Got a tricked out Nissan down there. I'm not sure all the classes they got here tonight. But, you know, we got the grade 8, the Invitational. Looks like a turbocharged Z. Just short pulling it, short pulling it. Once again, gasser looking coop near lane. Good looking pickup truck, far lane. MPK, Galop Motorsports Park. Come and get you some. Gas is ready to go. Pickup truck can't decide if it wants to go forwards or backwards.
Turbocharged Nova, far lane. Turbocharged Camaro, near lane. Boosted GT down there on the mic, walking around. in the far lane when it kicked in it spun the tire a little bit so he was out of it yeah, looks like we got us a drone flying around just about out of cars and then I'll take a little intermission and get the race started Oh, thank you, Rodney. Bad Apple. Looks like all these guys got pretty much a small tire on, so this must be a small tire class. Anybody know who that RV belongs to? Me neither. You can't win if you don't play. Mustang far lane, Nova near lane. Yeah, Big Dog was pretty awesome last night. If you didn't watch the videos, go back and watch them. They're available on Facebook and YouTube. light on that one, no wind light. Sleeper pickup truck right there. Sleeper. How about that? The wind light showed the other lane. Crazy. Oh, 
looks like they're lining up for the main event. Cat Kelly, Nate Slayler, Marta Nova, Kayla Morton's up there. Lizzie Musi's up there in line. Stay tuned. Daddy Dave's in line. Axeman coming down a hill. Oh, it's small tire round two right now. All right, small tire round two. So Right lane is saying right lane. Once again, small tire round two. Left lane with space. A couple door cars coming around. After this round of racing, we're going to move over to the other side and get further down the racetrack so the uh, finish line will be a little bit closer to us. We got a medical emergency somewhere. Hope everybody's all right.
with space. Candles lit the whole way. Right lane with space. Candles lit. All righty, here comes that Camaro we saw last night, Pete Mondragway, with those crazy zoomies coming straight up. Good looking car for our lane. Once again, small tire action round two. Small tire action round two. The heavyweights are lining up. Lizzie Musi strapping in the car as we speak. Great eights in line, or the invitational, whatever they're having. <laughs> Little baby blower on the near lane, sound like a pro. No, nitrous combination, far lane. Got the purge going on, nitrous combination. all over the racetrack. Wind light, far lane, near lane, nearly making contact with the inside wall. All righty. Looks like grade eight, invitational, whatever we are. Lizzie Musi first out, near lane. Pat Musi, horsepower under the hood. A grade eight, first round. Oh, yeah, that is Doc's old car. I saw it somewhere else earlier in the year. Now that you pre -gun. Thanks, Kev. Once again, we're going to relocate over in that corner right there for the second round. Get you a little bit, get you another 150, 200 foot closer to the finish line. Maybe we can get a little bit better picture so we can see what's going on down there. Ryan Martin's car, Kai Kelly. First time taking a look at Daddy Dave's uh, Audi down there. Murder Nova with the uh, red custom wheels on it. Floor machine over there. Is that house machine? All right, Bonnie's running. Get you some of that. Lizzie Musi back behind the wheel here at MPK. Yeah, I saw Upship set up over there today early online. Charge combination far lane making a whole lot of noise. Bonnie with the purple lights or the pink lights, I should say. Lizzie fighting breast cancer, I believe. We got a Damon fan in the far lane.
Lizzie's in trouble. Wind light, far lane. Wind light, far lane. Look like about a half a car lane, far lane. Damon moving off. Lizzie with some oil in there. She's far lane. All right, battle of the Ford Mustang. I believe that's Kayla Morton in the far lane and Larry Rose, the axe man, coming up near side. Comment out of Kayla yesterday on some social media posts. Yeah, it looked like she left on him. Had a nice little chat with Mrs. Axeman earlier. Family owns a fantastic little uh, water and hole in Alta Vista, Virginia. Thanks for watching, Mrs. Bowman. Two, three car lengths, easy. Axe man moving on. Wow. Kayla with a lot of smoke on a big end. They're going to have to look at that. All right, from what I read on social media, a.k.a. Facebook, like Nate Saylor right here in a beautiful uh, Pro Charge Chevy 2, back-to-back -back wins. Cat Kelly racing far lane and uh, oh, something that starts with a J. That good-looking uh, screw-blow machine. Jeff Pierce tuning over there. Ethan Salimi over there working. Once again, the invitation for the great eight. There goes the other cars. Lutz. Chuck 55 running their sponsor motors there. PJS Racing Engines. B Rad. Robin Roberts squared up down there with Daddy Dave. Once again, we're at Galat Motorsports Park, Dylan Benson, North Carolina, Pro Motors home track. All righty, here we go. This ought to be a good one. Yeah, this is my first one. I'm thinking about chasing these next year, maybe. Jingalanga, Jingalanga, Cat Kelly racing far lane, Nate Sailor right here beside us. The great eight. I wish you would have spoke too. What's up, Bubba Green in the house? Jingalang. Thank you, Mike.
in the turn. Left lane, left lane for the win. IVMP, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. Got to leave Saturday morning to go to a wedding. All righty, right into the second field. Ryan Martin, Mr. Bad ASS, Murder Nova, Sean Ellington right here beside us. Like a share, like a share. Bonus coverage tonight. Yeah, we'll be there. Hope to see you. Give me a holler. Don't be afraid to speak. Who you like in this one? Who you like? Ryan Martin or Murder Nova with a Ram Jack on him? Good looking car. I like those red wheels. Hey, thanks, Joe. We try to go somewhere almost every weekend to do this. Basically, chase pro modified drag racing up and down the East Coast. Once again, Ryan Martin with not a whole lot of success this year from what I've read on the internet. Let's see what he can do tonight right here at the Lot Motorsports Park. toward the center. Murder Nova with a strong pass, moving on. Ryan left on him on a tree, but moved to the center line and had to lift mid-track. Ryan and the Ram Jack Nova, moving on. Oh, stinky pinky, Disco Dean. Met Disco Dean down here in 2017 when he was bracket racing. I'm not sure who's in the far lane. I should know it, but I don't. Mike Bowman coming around the corner. I do know that. World Series of Pro Mod Champions. Uh, that may possibly not have sounded right. I'm not sure. Chris Rankin, thank you very much. Chris Rankin in a far lane. They don't seem to be too consumed about the, uh, oh, it must be Lincoln Fluid or something. Oh, yeah, look at the fluid all over the racetrack where he stopped. Might be fuel. You can see it right, right in there. It's no prep. They'll run it. Oh, they're going to take the front end off right there for the start line. What's Rankin going to do? HFR Fabrications, that's exactly right. I should know all these things, but I got a pea-sized brain and a watermelon head. Yeah, it looks like Mike's going to be over there in the right lane. He's on the outside. He's going to be in the right lane, Christy. All right, Rankin, playing the sportsman there. Cut it off. I guess they got two minutes or so. Front end's off of uh, Disco Dean's car. Nobody grabbing a mop. It is what it is. I can tell you, I know that's killing these boys at Galat Motorsports Park. They take fine care of their racing surface and no prep event is not high on their priority list. The two minute clock is on. Once again, for all my followers watching, be sure to follow the uh, Bowman Babes on Facebook. A lot of entertainment there. Let's 
see the Bowman machine down there by the Sunny's racing engine uh, placard. Ready to go. Mike's had a rough season. But he's a hard racer and a fierce competitor. So tonight could be his night. Working hard down there on the stinky pinky machine. With his new two-tone paint from scuffing up the wall. Was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yeah. I didn't want to come, but man, these guys are 40, less than 30 minutes from home. Even though it cost me close to 50 bucks to get in, I think it's well worth it. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Once again, thanks to everybody that sponsors Pro Honor. Makes this trip possible. Event number 38 right here. 38. Oh, the Dominator. Dominator I was doing a bunch of work up there when I came in. Yeah, we may try to do some more of these in the next year or so close to home. I know some guys are making a pretty good uh, living doing it. Just not sure I can travel like big like these guys do. TV cameras and microphones floating around. I guess we'll see this on TV at some point in time. Disco Dean leaned it over and was out of it. Rankin moving on. My home is in Fuqua Marina, only about 25 minutes from Dunn Benson. So once again, Rankin moving on with a wind light over there. Disco Dean's car laid over. Probably still a fuel pickup issue. Lost the transmission on the side of I-40, towing a boat one day in Newton Grove. Not one of my favorite places to be. But it's a cool area. Glad, thanks for watching. Once again, next weekend, we'll be live streaming, testing Thursday at PDRA Virginia Motorsports Park. Friday, more of a uh, video behind the scenes roll. Saturday, I'll be watching a uh, friend of the family getting married. Got another busy weekend coming up. Bowman got the beautiful Chevelle running. Here comes the Dominator coming around a quarter. Hey, Newburn in the house. How you doing, Dave? Yeah, Chip King Rex. It's back on our, the end of our first video from the night. We caught it right here on film. Chip King slapping both walls. Car got sideways and couldn't get it slowed down. Once again, as a pro, my World Series of Pro Mod champ, world champion over there one day. Now he's racing MBK, custom built machine, all the way from California. Then of course the Dominator, fan favorite. The guy works hard, hard, hard.
No, Squanstrom has not run yet. Shook down earlier, but has not raced in competition. Yeah, Chip King's fine. Just uh, slapped the wall a little bit on both sides. Got out of the car quickly under his own power. Charger in the far lane. Mike Bowman picking up the win with a very strong run here tonight. Dominator looked like he got near the center line at the 330. May have had to whiff it one time. Mike Bowman moving on. All right, you guys may have to help me out with a couple of these names here. Dominator is probably selling too many t-shirts to hang it up. Everybody's got to have a dream. Jason Neal on it. Oh, that is Morello's Mustang. I don't recognize it without the tech flag on it. Jimmy Taylor, far lane. So it's a Reaper or somebody else? I had to go by there. I don't see Reaper's old lady. I would recognize her. Not Reaper. Once again, Marillo battling his own health issues, but up here racing. Jimmy Taylor, Jimmy Taylor, thank you, Keith. <laughs> Jimmy Taylor leads it all the way down the racetrack, left on him and first one to the finish line. Jimmy Taylor, far lane, moving on. Tony in a far near lane. I believe that's Bodie's machine coming around the corner over there to Blue Camaro, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I did see some cameras floating around, some microphones, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm up here in no man's land. Tony McKinney, thank you. <laughs> I hang him out a little bit. I was surprised he did such a big burnout. any cameras either, maybe they're not filming. A little bit of lighting going on, so I'm not sure. I like most any kind of drag race, but I'm enjoying this. I like 
fast door car racing. He must have passed him right at this finish line. Jay Bodie moving on. McKinney was out the whole way on him. That pro charge must have been making some steam on the big end. All righty, B Rad. I do know him and Lumen on the far lane. Pro charge combination Henny. Race your way in first round. Race your way in. Daddy Dave still waiting. Chuck 55 Lutz. Not sure who these guys are. B Rad versus Greg Chandler. Greg Chandler being in the near lane. Michael and Mike, I'm going to make you guys my new stat, guys. Thanks for keeping me straight. So we don't look like a fool or sound like a fool. Yeah, I need to do some more gases. They were fun events. They just have so much media in them, it's hard to get in. It's an eighth of a mile track, one eighth of a mile. Occasionally, NHRA will run a thousand foot divisional race here. Very short shutdown. <laughs> Thanks, Street Outlaws, MPK spoiler. Oh, yeah. There's that dock and uh, bird man, somebody in a Mustang right there. Once again, B Red, Far Lane, Pro Charger. Pro Charger near lane as well. Just past the 60 foot cone. Chandler moving on around two. Sound like it just died. Hey, thank you, Christy. Hope you're doing well. It was good to see you guys in Florida. Enjoyed our time visiting together. Once again, I hope you guys are enjoying my uh, first MPK coverage. We'll have to look at a schedule for next year, something we may consider doing. I see a bunch of guys doing it, and I know I can do it just as well as they can, maybe even better. <laughs> Love it, Keith. Once again, that bird car right there is a former Jay Cox car. been rebodied. Brant Mariner, a.k.a. the hook, gave the Bird Boys that car, put, another, put a Ford body on it, of course, because they're Ford people. Pretty sure it's a Charlie Buck racing engine motor in it.
Bird Brothers out of Louisiana, right there in a Ford Mustang, Charlie Buck Power under the hood, and Doc Love and the old Flambo Nova. What's up, Marcus? Hello, Mrs. NC. Hey, whatever way we can make a dollar, because I'm ready to quit going to work every day and do this for a living. Ah, one of the few nitrous purges we've seen all night. Let's see if Daryl can get it done. Oh, the double purge. Two and one. Hey, Mr. Bob. How you doing, buddy? Chuck's in a Wix filter Mustang. Chuck 55 in line. Not sure who this is in the near lane. Somebody comment. Him not being in a purple car when he was so dominant. The bird man and Chuck Seitzer. Heck, those guys live will get out and fist fight at the finish line. Who knows? Neither one of them gonna take any junk from anybody. Once again, last pair for the race. You race your way in. First pair up, whatever it is, Jeff Lutz and Chuck 55. Once again, Chuck 55 running the sponsor motor hours. PJS Racing Engines out of Texas. Thank those guys for their support. Companies like that allow us to get to events like this. popcorn down through there, but Chuck Sykes is moving on in a Wix filter's Mustang. The great semi-final shakedown. What exactly does that mean? Okay, yeah, they were testing when I came in the gate.
I appreciate you helping get the numbers up. You can't get wrapped up in it. I'll just look at how many views we had in 24 hours. We had some big dog videos last night. They're working on 20,000 views a piece. Fantastic show last night, Piedmont Dragway. Thank them for uh, supporting us this year. And what a great event. Congratulations to one of my coverage partners, the War Eagle Racing Group, picking up 20000 in cold cash last night. Hey, Glenn, how's it going? Sure could use another bag of that corn. Boy, that was good stuff. <laughs> really thought the place would be a little bit more fuller but sunday tomorrow's actions festivities have been canceled and moved to sunday you know me i say i'm not gonna come but sunday morning i'm probably gonna be itching and i'll probably be here so i think i'll bring a tripod and get set up over there with the other boys and do my thing if i come will you watch Yeah, last night was pretty epic. That was one of our better events. Once again, Chuck 55 over there, tuned by Pez. PJS racing engines out of just outside of Dallas, Texas. That monster headed Hemi configuration for our lane. And Jeff Lutz, Lutz race cars near lane. Oh, we're doing something on the starting line. There goes the TV camera. Hey, bye bye, Kai. It may be in my blood. I was just like 30 years too late finding it. <laughs> Myrna Nova and, and Nate Saylor. That'll be a heck of a drag race. That's going to put the Axe Man. That'll be another good race. So the winner of that event, does that get into the main event on uh, Sunday? Or does that put them in the main event the following week? And in case you're wondering, no, I don't watch a lot of this on TV. I don't have time to watch TV. Work 13 hours a day, a couple days a week. Work on videos a couple hours a day. Sleep a couple hours a day. Go drag racing all weekend. No, I'm not even allowed to even get near the track. I've paid my money just like every other spectator in here. I'm not paying $145 to get down there near the track. This is probably a better view. I can tell you it's a better view. I may try to pull some strings and get down there on Sunday, but tonight we're just on fan mode. Jeff Lutz coming up in the near lane. And a PJS powered Chuck 55 far lane.
All right, we'll stay here. Push through the beams. Let out of it early. Lutz with another strong pass. Jeff Lutz with a strong pass. Chuck 55 pushing through the beams, going on a two step. Daddy Dave, far lane. First time we've gotten to see the Audi. I don't know who's beside us. near lane. I'm not going to pronounce his last name right, so we'll just call him Kyle. Daddy Dave, far lane, and Kyle right beside us. All right, he talked me into it. I'll stay on this side. It's a pretty long walk over there anyway. About as far from the parking lot as you can get. Left on him just a little bit in the near lane. Left lane. Cow with a win. Cow with a win. Yeah, we may pick up small tire when it gets uh, a few more cars knocked out of the way. I got to be conservative with my battery. right beside us. Love that American flag on top of that race car. God bless you, my friend. Slapped the wheelie bar and that didn't shift gears right to sound like he's done.
Yeah, it's a lot of money up for grabs here. This is all about uh, staying in business, making money, man. They pay these guys a lot of money and they got to recoup their investment. I get it. tell you this coming in walking in today three racers stopped me and said thanks for coming in we're glad you're covering our events and what can you do that makes you feel pretty daggone good They probably wouldn't know I'm there except I got my big old NC Pro Modern Media jersey on. Somebody would see me. Go pick up the win. Left lane getting the wind light. I'm liking this view too. I can tell I'm going to be standing up here at Virginia Motorsports Park next weekend doing some testing up here about halfway down the track. Getting a good view. All right, Robin Roberts Bar Lane. Not sure who's in this wicked machine beside us. Slow down a little bit. Service is probably getting weaker and weaker. Wind light over there in the far lane. Wind light over there in the far lane. Might not be able to see it, but I'll try to describe it as best I can because that's what I do. Once again, Robin Roberts over there picking up the wind light. Katie Mills in the Mills Racing Machine near lane. BFN over there in the far lane. <laughs>
and rolling on down through there. Kelly's all over the center line. I tell you, I'm on our cone. She's out of it. Brandon would have went light. Looks like we got one more. Then we're going to take a break. Go get something to drink. Charge the phone up. We'll be back for... uh. Second, third round, whatever's going on right here. Live tonight, Goliath Motorsports Park. Fast cars are on the track, Pro Biders online. Hey, positive vibes every day, all day. Pro charges cold nice, just need some ether in it. <laughs> chitty chitty pop pop. <clears throat> All righty, reset the computer, fired right up. Learn what he needed to do. We'll see you guys over the next round coming up shortly. <laughs> 